Hi, uh, welcome to my channel Cyclops FPV here and today I'm just going to have a little bimble around this park and uh, try some camera settings especially in the shade which I'm about to uh, come across on I, I did some uh, initial changes in the camera setup um, so I could get a little bit more detail in the shades uh, actually look better in the uh, footage then uh, actually you know actually in the goggles and the recording came out but um, yeah I'm just uh, flying about and uh, ch checking out the uh, new tune I got as well. well I say new tune when I got this uh, I bought this originally second hand before I rebuilt it and put a beta FPV frame in it and uh, and change it to what it is now added an external receiver because this was originally fr sky hence why it was so cheap uh and i noticed the uh startup tune on the escs on this is uh sweet child of mine by guns and roses so that initially led me to think that um he's also changed other things as well uh and I've, i was right as well uh long story short it's a pain in the butt to do it's uh tweak it go out fly tweak it go out fly tweak it go out fly it until you get it right and uh, in the end what i did was I, I turned all the filter settings um off i just got rid of it all together and uh, I, I started messing around with uh the pitch tune itself without the sliders and I finally got it to, I mean, it was way out. Some of it was ridiculously way out. I just didn't like the bobbling. It felt like it was bobbling all the time, um, especially when you're coming down off the throttle. So anyway, um, yeah, so I got it. I got it all sorted. And uh, this is the test flight on a non-windy day. And yes, I did make it through that second hoop. It just looked like I went over the top of it, but I went through through both. Yeah, so um, that that's all been sorted now, and it flies a lot better. Hence this fight. I'm doing a lot of low throttle stuff and a couple of uh, power loops and stuff like that, just to make sure that um, I'm not getting any prop wash or any oscillations or anything like that. Um, I'm also practicing my power loops as well. Now, bearing in mind this is a very light one S quad. Um, even with the warp snail system on it, so there's there's hardly any weight to it. So um, I do manage to get one out of five right. Um, I'm going to continue on a 2S quad with a bit more weight on it and a little bit more thrust, although the thrust weren't really the issue. It's mainly the weight. You need, you need a bit of weight to throw yourself back so you can... Um, try it out well this is a bit of a, a range test um to the other end of the park which is i don't know probably about 300 meters or something like that um so i really got a few bits all in all in uh three batteries worth of flight um yeah it's mainly the smoothness i'm more i'm more concerned about uh i'll do a roll here Still trying to get used to the small gimbals. I do actually prefer the T light gimbals um, that I'm used to. They're, they're sort of more snappier. Whereas uh, with the Radio Master ones, which is what I'm, what I'm using here, um, although they're Hall Effect gimbals and, and they have got a decent spring in it, I would still like the spring to be a bit tighter. And uh, the gimbals are a very sort of short throw because they're very small gimbals but yeah i mean you know it's just something i'll get used to so here, here i am trying the shadows again i see fairly good and uh oh yeah i'll go i'll go for a high up fly here and just try and uh, capture the scenery this is all in uh, acro mode so i'm holding it quite steady a yeah, lovely day it was and it was warm as well. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. 
everything just works out perfect there you are nice little power loop there no no oscillations or or bobbles and just smooth that's how i wanted it because um i'm not really using this to do freestyle i just want it to be more cinematic now, this is a mistake I, I did here i wanted to go underneath that bench but um at the last minute like i i couldn't steer it in time I didn't want to go and get it, so I thought I'd just kept carry on. Yeah, so I'm just about to sort of come in for a land, go through the shadows again. I'll write down the camera settings in, in the description what I used, because um, I, I changed quite a bit. Right, this is the power loop um, run, which... Uh, I'm using the goal post on the other, uh, this next one coming up, which is standard football pitch length. And uh, I'll sort of muck this one up. Yeah, see, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't throw myself over far enough, but it'll get better. Really, I, I need a heavier quad. This was the wrong one to do it on. Yeah, see, I didn't go back far enough. I know what I'm doing wrong. It's just the quad. It's, it's just, you know, too light. And not only that, when you give it throttle, it, it does sag a little bit. Well, I actually managed it this time. Yeah, look, perfect. Um... I'm doing all this flight on 25 milliwatts, believe it or not. And with the uh, the crappy dipole that I've got on it as well, um, it's doing okay. But of course, I'm using my um, my Menis RC fresher or fresher uh, antennas. I'm not using the standard walk snell uh, ones; those really small ones. Although I've never really given them much of a chance, to be fair. But, uh, it's better to have bigger antennas than smaller ones, I suppose. Yeah, totally gnaws that one up. Yeah, I'll give up after that, because I'm running out of battery, and I want to get enough, enough flight to get me back. But, yeah, it's, it's a nice scenery. It's a nice park. And, uh, I thought this would be ideal for sort of sort of whooping in between the trees and getting the uh, footage that I wanted. It's just a shame that I, I didn't go in between the branches a bit more. I did think about all this afterwards, but you know what it's like. Once you're flying, you sort of get caught up in it all. But um, no, the end result was good. I'm, I'm happy with this now. It's, it's flying the way I want it to fly. So I should have gone through that V in the tree there, but absolutely no wind as well, which is like quite quite rare these days on a, on a nice warm day. But yeah, I'll just fly, I'll just do a few orbits around myself and then that's it, the, the battery's done. I think this is only a 450 milliamp an hour battery, so I only get about three minutes out of that. But yeah. Just thought I'll share this video and the footage. Alright guys, well that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy it. Bye.